Hey everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Um, for today's video, I'm making planner clips for my day planner. I have a new one this year and I have a smaller one. And so the clips that I made last year are a little bit big for it. So I want to take the time to make some new ones this year. So this is my day planner here and I have last year's clips that are really cute and you can see them at the top there, but they fit my old day planner here on the right a lot better than they fit my new one. I find when I have this in my bag, the uh, paper clips are getting shifted because they're sticking out quite a bit at the top. So I just want to make some new ones for this day planner that fit a little bit better. And so these are using the jumbo paper clips as well. Uh, the ones that I have now. So I'm just going to use regular size paper clips and some smaller stamps. So I just picked an assortment from my collection. You can pick any stamps that you have on hand. I really love the Love and Breakfast stamp from Lawn Fawn, that stamp set. Uh, it has a lot of kawaii um, themed faces and food items. I really like the apples from Thanks a Bushel as well. And there's some small stamps here in my ocean themed um, stamp set. I believe this is Under the Sea. And this is the Mum and Me stamp set. These are all from Lawn Fawn. They have some tiny little owls and foxes that I like. And then this um, acorn from the Jump for Joy, I believe that's called. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. So I have all of the uh, wafer dies to cut those out as well. And so I'm just gonna pick from those. And these are the, the uh, paper clips that I picked up, an assortment of just regular size. And I really liked these bright spring colors. These are the ones I used before, and they're the jumbo size that fit really well with my larger day planner. Um, but I think these smaller ones will be a lot better. One other idea I had was to try laminating my um, clips this year that I didn't do last year. So I picked up some packing tape from Staples. I took a look at the different ones that were available. 3M had some, they had a lot of different ones. The thing I liked about this one is it's really clear. So I can see the printing on the base of the roll. You can see the staples and the blue writing and it's not very cloudy at all. So I thought that this would be the best packing tape to use to make a laminate because it would be the most clear and not um, cloud up the color or anything. So I have a hot glue gun as well, just your standard run of the mill glue gun. Uh, and I'll assemble the stamps with that. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and this is my acrylic block that I use to put my stamps on. So let's begin making the planner paper clips. I'm really excited about these. So I decided to start with the Love and Breakfast. As I mentioned, this is my favorite stamp set. This is the first stamp set I ever had, and my sister bought it for me. And I totally lost it over it, and I found it, and then she bought it for me for my birthday. So I want to make some of... Um, the paper clips out of these, they have some smaller items and I thought that these would fit good uh, for my day planner. So I'm just going to stamp out a whole bunch. I decided to do um, just a, a huge batch of them and I wanted to try some different colors and then kind of see at the end when I was done everything what I liked and which one I wanted to use at that point. So I'm just stamping out a row of every item. I think I took every um, item that had a face from the Love and Breakfast stamp set except the toaster was a little bit big. It would be better for a larger day planner. And I think there was one more item that had a face that I didn't use. But all of these were uh, pretty little items and I thought that they would work really well for the planner clips. Now I tried putting a bow on the muffin there, but the lines of the bow stuck out. I could cut it out separately, but I didn't want to make it too complicated and I didn't really like the way it looked. So I just kind of I did that as a test, but I didn't end up using that one. I decided to do the apples too. I thought the apples would be really fun. And the great thing about this stamp set is I think there's like six, six or 12. There's a whole bunch of one. I should count that, but there's a whole bunch of faces that come with this stamp set. So you could make a hundred different apple faces. There is a huge range to choose from. So I went through and I used every single face. I did one in the solid apple and then one in the bitten apple uh, face for each. I also did the llamas or alpacas. These are called alpacas but I always call them llamas. Um, they're bigger and I did um, decide that I was going to put those on the bigger paper clips but I just love coloring them and and so I didn't make them um, before so I, I just wanted to make those for here. So now I'm cutting everything into strips so that I can color them. just to keep it separate and make it 
uh, just easier to work with. So here you can see all the stamps that I have done. I'm just coming in with a micron pen for any that didn't stamp perfect and just cleaning up the edges. There was the one apple that had a huge uh, side missing. I just kind of left that one. I didn't use it. But I did touch up any lines where it was a little weak uh, here in the muffin too. You can see it lost a little bit of its hat, but I was able to easily pull that line back in with my micron. And the micron I'm using is a 01 weight. I also like the 005, and that's good for fine detail, but the 01 is pretty good for general um, coloring. Now I'm going to use my Copic chart. I just want to look at some colors and I find it's a lot easier when I can see those colors on paper instead of just picking based on my marker caps. And so I can uh, test some colors out that way, try some different colors here with the muffin and try some different blending techniques and see what works, what I like. So I'm doing a mint green BG10 for the base and then I'm coming in with a purpley color to do the shadow. Now that color is, I believe that's BB00. I also have some gel pens. I picked these up at a local store that specializes in Japanese themed items. And these are a super fine tip um, gel pen that I have. And they're really fun. I just um, was grabbing random things in my craft room to make these. So I didn't want to be very traditional with it. If there was an element laying around that I wanted to try, I wanted to uh, throw it in here and see what it looked like, what it ended up coming out as in the in the uh, paper clip. So I used some of those gel pens, and if you noticed, I also had a fine liner, a uh, Stedler fine liner as well, and I used those to put little rainbow sprinkles on my muffin. So here's how it's looking. It's coming together well, so it's ready for coloring uh, the, the liner here. So I'm just using some pale yellows, bringing in some shadows. And then again, I want to add a little bit of um, just whatever I can find in my craft room. I don't want to be very specific with this, but I found my gold gel pen, my glitter pen. So I put some highlights there because it complemented the yellow of the liner. And then I brought in a white gel pen to do some highlights. I also have this glitter brush pen from A Wink of Stella, and this is in clear glitter. So I'm brushing this over the tops of the muffins. Now I'm going to come in with my waffle die there, my wafer die, um, and just pop these out. So that's the one that I'm going to use for my muffin. So I actually did a mistake here. I popped this out before I laminated it. So this one was kind of my test and then I went, oops, I shouldn't have done that. So I came back and grabbed the packing tape and then laminated that. It's much harder. I tried to cut it out after again running it through the Sizzix twice and after I put the laminating tape on it and it was just way too complicated. So you'll want to make sure that you put the packing tape on first and it looked amazing. It was super clear. I was really happy with how that looked and it cut out really well. I was worried that with that extra layer of packing tape it might be too thick to get through the Sizzix machine but it worked really good. Okay, so my second color was actually B60. I think I said BB00 earlier. So it's B60. So what I'm doing here is creating the background or the back, the backing for my paper clip. So I'm doing the same process. I colored down a swatch of color and just trimming that up because I've got my packing tape already on it. And I'm going to run this through my Sizzix as well. Now what you want to make sure is that you you cut this out in the reverse. So don't put your die on the front side of it. Make sure you flip your paper over and put it on the back side because you want a mirror image of what your front is. And if your die isn't symmetrical, then it's not going to line up when you put it on the back. So here you can see them both paired up and they're perfect. And I popped this one out correctly, so I was really happy about that. I didn't make that mistake. So now I'm just going to pick out my paper clips and the color that I want to put with this um, muffin here. So here's a look at all my items I colored. I did this off camera, just trying different combinations. I love doing the apples. I put a little bit of green gel glitter pen on the leaves at the base. You can see a little bit of glitter there. And then here's my llamas, I, my alpacas, I guess. I just love these guys. They're so cute. And so I'm going to use those bigger paper clips that I have left over that I used last year. Now another way I did a background instead of using Copic ink because that can 
uh, use up your marker ink pretty quick, I tried coming in with Distress Ink. So I did a swatch in um, some blues and greens. I have uh, squeezed lemonade there, and um, I think I have um, tattered rose that I'm trying as well. So to do those backgrounds, what I'm doing is trimming off a piece of cardstock that matches the width or height of my stamped images. So I know that I'm going to have enough room to make a back for every front. And so using my Distress Ink, I'm just making sure that I get as close to the edge for that strip as possible. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just adding a little pop of color on the back. And using my blender, I'm just blending that out. So here I have um, the strip ready and it's all prepared. And so I'm going to trim down my apples. I found that when they were three apples high, it was a little bit too wide to fit on um, a strip of the packing tape. So I didn't want to have to match it up like wallpaper. So I just thought it'd be better if I uh, cut the apples down in strips and then they would fit on the packing tape. The best way I found to put the packing tape on was to lay it flat on my desk and then put the... Um, the cardstock on top of it like so, like I'm doing in, in the video here. I found that was the easiest way to not get any ripples in the tape. And then I'm just trimming up the edges so that when I put this through my Sizzix it's not going to stick to my plates. I did my apples um, individually just because it was easier to put them in the machine that way. So I have them between my cutting plates running them through my Sizzix here. And then I'll just pop this little guy out, and he popped out great. They, um, this one stuck because it stuck to the post-it tape, but they came out great, and it didn't have any trouble cutting with that extra layer of packing tape, which was nice. So here I've run the die through for the backing and made sure to flip my paper over so that that die is cutting on the negative side of the paper, not on the artwork side. I'm using little tea light holders to put all of my cut pieces in. I found that this was the easiest way to keep them from mixing up on my desk. And so, and then I've got the paper clip too. So you want to make sure that you're just putting the top part of the paper clip inside um, where you're going to glue and leaving the two loops at the bottom open because um, that's the part that will stick to your paper. You're going to attach it to your paper and I try not to cover up the ends of the paper clip where it's um, and where the ends are cut near the top. So I put a little dollop of glue down and just get that positioned in place just at the top. And then I put a little bit more glue down just on top of the bars of the paper clip and then put the other piece on top. I used uh, the end of a paintbrush to push this down because last time I did this it was really hot, but I found that with the laminating, the packing tape, it wasn't actually as hot as I thought it was. I think that acted as kind of an insulator or a barrier. So you just squeeze those together and super, super easy to make these. Now I made a whole bunch as I mentioned. I just kind of went through and batch produced a whole bunch of my favorite stamps. So here's a look at the final stamps. I laid them all out. And so I did um, take a couple of these for myself for my day planner and then I offered these to my mom and my sister and then what's left I've put up on my Etsy shop. So for a limited time, just as long as these ones are available, um, they'll be available for purchase on my Etsy store. Now hopefully if you're interested in picking some up I'll put a link in the description below and hopefully the ones that you like are still available. I'm not planning on making any more just once these are done, um, they'll be done. But I had so much fun making these and I wanted to use up the paper clips that I had bought and I had about 50. So if you visit my shop, this is my Etsy shop here, and if you scroll down past uh, the featured items, you'll see the planner paper clips. You can select planner accessories in the left side nav, and then that will show you all the planner paper clips that I've listed. So if you find one you're interested in, you can click on it. And then once you go into the listing, you can select the color that you'd like and your quantity and add it to cart. Now, just to talk a little bit about my Etsy shop, because I don't really talk about it much here on my channel, but um, I do have a lot of greetings and paper accessories. Uh, I specialize mostly in creating invites, custom invites, uh, mostly Parisian themed. Those are very popular. And I also do printable party, uh, paper party accessories. I have uh, cupcake 
um, decorators and name tags and um, straw flags there. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my shop. I have some cards that I've made both using um, watercolor artwork that I've made and as well as cards that I've made on the channel. I've put a few of those up there and there's a bunch of random assortments, mostly paper related. So have a look and check it out. And I also do custom orders too. So if there's something you want that's a little bit different, just let me know and maybe I can create something for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed these planner clip videos. I love these kawaii stamps. They're just so cute and I had so much fun making them. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I hope to see you with my next video. Thanks for watching.